Being diabetic can feel challenging, but with a plethora of literature available on the subject, there's much wisdom to glean. And that's precisely what we've done. Dive deep into the knowledge ocean of a hundred books, fishing out some invaluable nuggets, supported by credible scientific studies, to help navigate diabetes more efficiently. We'll share these with you, so make sure to watch till the end. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. First and foremost, numerous books emphasize the crucial role of a balanced diet. A prominent example is the groundbreaking work, The End of Diabetes, by Joel Fuhrman. It posits that a diet rich in low glycemic fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds is vital for maintaining balanced blood sugar levels. This suggestion, backed by a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, demonstrates a lower glycemic load diet's positive effects on glucose control. Additionally, Diabetes Solution, by Dr. Richard K. Bernstein, elucidates the importance of low-carbohydrate diets. A similar perspective is echoed in The Diabetes Code, by Dr. Jason Fung. These ideas find confirmation in a study published in the Nutrition and Metabolism Journal, illustrating how a low-carb diet can help manage type 2 diabetes by reducing HbA1c levels and medication requirements. Physical activity is another crucial element often underscored. The Four Pillar Plan by Dr. Rangan Chatterjee advocates for regular movement, as does Move It and Lose It by Paul Coker. Such counsel correlates with a study from the Journal of the American Medical Association that underscores regular exercise's efficacy in improving insulin sensitivity and glycemic control. Learning to manage stress, another commonly recurring theme in literature like The Diabetes Burnout by William H. Polonsky and The Stress Solution by Dr. Rangan Chatterjee is equally important. Stress hormones like cortisol can spike blood glucose levels. Hence, mindfulness and relaxation techniques can help manage stress and improve glucose control. A study in the journal Diabetes Care confirms this, demonstrating how cognitive behavioral therapy can reduce stress and improve blood glucose management. Then there's the suggestion of regular monitoring of blood glucose levels. Books such as Think Like a Pancreas by Gary Shiner and Bright Spots and Landmines by Adam Brown stress the importance of this practice. It enables more accurate insulin dosing and diet adjustments, reducing the risk of complications. A study published in the New England Journal of Medicine corroborates this, indicating that self-monitoring of blood glucose results in better glycemic control. Many books like The First Year, Type 2 Diabetes by Gretchen Becker and Master Your Diabetes by Mona Morstein propose an organized approach to diabetes management. Staying organized helps keep up with medication schedules, regular checkups, and lifestyle modifications. This approach is supported by a study in the journal BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care, which reported better health outcomes among diabetics who are more organized in managing their condition. Now, the penultimate tip from the treasure trove of books is about the power of a positive mindset. This is vividly depicted in The Book of Better by Chuck Eichten and Diabetes and Well-Being by Dr. Jen Nash. Having a positive outlook promotes adherence to management protocols, leading to improved overall health. A meta-analysis in the Journal of the American Association of Diabetes Educators strengthens this viewpoint by concluding that a positive attitude is significantly associated with better diabetes management. Finally, after a deep dive into 100 books and numerous scientific studies, the most powerful tip that stood out was about the essence of personalized diabetes management. Each diabetic is unique, and tailoring a diabetes management strategy that suits one's lifestyle, preferences, and medical conditions is the ultimate key to success. This concept is beautifully articulated in Your Diabetes Science Experiment by Ginger Vieira and Taking Control of Your Diabetes by Dr. Stephen Edelman. The idea behind personalized management is to recognize that what works for one person may not work for another. This applies to diets, exercise routines, medication regimens, and more. Hence, it is crucial to work closely with healthcare providers to establish a management plan that aligns with individual needs and goals. The support for personalized diabetes management is overwhelming in scientific literature too. A study in the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology asserts that personalizing medicine improves the management of type 2 diabetes. Another research in diabetes, obesity and metabolism presents evidence that personalized nutrition leads to better glycemic control. 
To illustrate further, take the case of exercise routines. According to a study published in the Journal of Personalized Medicine, tailoring exercise programs based on an individual's physical capacity, preferences, and metabolic response led to better adherence and improved health outcomes. A similar approach applies to dietary modifications too. While low-carb diets work wonders for some, others might respond better to a diet balanced in carbohydrates, protein, and fats. The key is to monitor how your body responds to different food types and adjust your diet accordingly. A study in the journal Nutrients emphasizes this, suggesting that personalized dietary advice improves adherence and dietary quality in individuals with type 2 diabetes. On the medication front, personalizing treatments is also vital. As stated in a study published in Diabetes Care, individualized treatment regimens can optimize glucose control while minimizing side effects, thereby improving the person's quality of life. Lastly, a positive mindset, stress management strategies, and support systems might vary from person to person. What soothes one individual might not work for another. Hence, exploring different avenues to discover what helps you maintain mental well-being is critical. A study in diabetic medicine corroborates this, stating that personalized psychological interventions improve emotional well-being and diabetes self-management. Diabetes self-management education is crucial for understanding the condition, learning self-care skills, and making informed decisions. Support from healthcare professionals, diabetes educators, and support groups can provide valuable guidance and motivation. Stay hydrated by drinking water and limit sugary beverages. In conclusion, the wisdom distilled from 100 books, backed by scientific studies, consistently points to the importance of diet, exercise, regular monitoring, stress management, positivity, organization, and most importantly, personalization in managing diabetes. Remember, each individual's journey with diabetes is unique, so what works for others might not work for you. In this odyssey of managing diabetes, let science be your compass, let wisdom from books be your map, but let your personal experiences, needs, and preferences be your guide. Here's to better health and happiness on your journey with diabetes. Keep learning, keep experimenting, and most importantly, keep personalizing. Additionally, understanding the symptoms of diabetes, such as increased thirst, frequent urination, unexplained weight loss, fatigue, and blurred vision, is crucial for early detection and timely treatment. With proper management, Individuals with diabetes can lead healthy and fulfilling lives. Remember, diabetes management requires a personalized approach and ongoing communication with your healthcare team. Because the best diabetes management strategy is the one that works for you.